business proposition for you. Well, you can call my secretary. Right now, I'm on my way to see my wife. She's just had surgery. I can do what I can. No business before personal life. How would you like to be rid of Jason Morgan once and for all? I have serious business to conduct over the next several months. It would be easier with the DA on my side and the Corinthos organization neutralized. I imagine that would work for you as well. Can I get to the point? Sonny and Jason were provoked into defending their territory. Came out guns blazing. You were to arrest them and get them off the streets. That would be a win-win situation. Mm. I see. You'd win the admiration of your superiors. Not to mention the public. And you could finally break free of Sonny. I'll see. My brother and I have settled our differences. <laughs> I must have missed that. Yeah, must have. Rick! You could finally step out from your brother's shadow and stop waiting for the respect you were never going to get. And you'd be rid of Jason. Jason is a mindless criminal who... As the IQ of concrete. And that may be true. Nevertheless, he's standing between you and your brother. And Sonny believes in Jason. And he's loyal to Jason. Well, then, that's Sonny's problem. Well, if you say so. But imagine your world without Jason Morgan in it. You know, instead of targeting my brother's organization, I can arrest you just as easily. Right. Imagine the headlines, DA arrests concerned citizen for no good reason. You've been more than a concerned citizen out of that way. You're right about that. My connections go far above the district attorney's office of Port Charles. Yeah, see, the only problem with feeling untouchable, it can become a fatal flaw. Speaking of, you've transformed yourself into quite the noble crusader, haven't you? Out to clean up the streets. As well as be the perfect Thank husband. You. But I know the real you. I was in that panic room, and I saw what you did to Carly. We've gotten past that, haven't we? Well, if you believe that, you're as crazy as your brother. Okay. You missed the perfect, perfect opportunity, Rick. You should have left Sonny to his insanity. The man wouldn't have a diagnosis, much less any medication. You would be weak and malleable, and you could swoop in and pull the strings, and you would have the real power. See, that's not what I wanted. <sighs> I see. Just wanted to help, did you? Nevertheless, Jason Morgan got in the way again. That must be very frustrating. I think you would make a much better second to Sonny than Morgan. Well, thank you very much, but I'm the district attorney. My only interest in organized crime is shutting it down. Well, then you should consider my offer. Because you could swoop in, get Morgan off the streets, and destroy everything Jason cares about. And I imagine... Your wife would be very grateful as well. Because Alexis wouldn't have to be worrying about Sonny's violent life. And your children would finally be safe. Wow, you are quite the humanitarian, Alcazar. Especially when my family and my children are concerned. My answer is no. I see. Devoted to Sonny despite his contempt for you. Finally made peace. Forever being the also ran. Hi. Hi. Nice to see you again. Unexpectedly, this is a coincidence. Okay. All the run ins, misplaced cell phone, just an excuse for you to get close to me, right? Give you the information we need. I pretend otherwise. Ooh, so much for playing hard to get. You work for the agency. I occasionally work for a powerful government group moving weapons for covert operations. You need names? I'm your man. You don't think I could be interested in you for yourself? Well, you definitely can continue flirting if you want, hoping that I'll let a name slip. As much as I'm enjoying that. I think I can get to the chase and just give you the information you need. Why would you do a thing like that? I will give you the names of the people I work with. If you tell me where I can find Sky and my child. 
Well, that's very interesting. Yeah, I have no idea where to find Sky. Robert Scorpio helped her disappear. I told you, Robert and I, we try really hard not to speak to each other. Well, I don't mean to be rude, but I don't care where you get the information. You tell me where to find Sky. I'll give you the names you need. Then get yourself killed. That is a risk I am willing to accept if it means finding my child. I don't blame Sky for keeping her baby away from you. I kept my own daughter away from her father for years. And how did her father react when he found her? He loved her. We didn't leave her because we wanted to. Our professions got in the way, you know. Well, that will never happen with my child. You know, it's so funny. People like us, we do own secrets and lies. However, we all crave something that is more real, permanent. But that does not give us the right to put our children in danger. Does it give us the right to shut them out of our lives? I love my daughter. But if we're so determined to live like this, I'm not sure we should even have children in the first place. Well, I never expected to have a child this guy. We had barely begun dating. But I do have to say, the pregnancy gave us hope. And I actually got out of the business for a while. So why are you back in? Well, that's a long story. But I'm keeping my son out of prison. Mm -hmm. See, I didn't know Diego until he was fully grown. And I think if I'd met him earlier in life, perhaps things would have been different. I want to give my child with Sky a better start than that. You'll have to excuse my skepticism, but I find it really difficult to believe that you give me those names. You know, you're going to lose your power base and maybe your life. Would you do it for Robin?